for most projects, um, uh, the NFT you own is simply just um, a token. Like, uh, like your a CryptoPunk NFT is essentially just token one, um, and CryptoPunk number two is token two. Um, and that token, all that token is doing, is pointing to a URL. So each token has a function called token URI. Um, and that token URI points to wherever the actual image is hosted. A lot of projects right now actually host all the images on their private servers. So yeah. when, when um, let's say I own an NFT, um, I don't know, uh, let's say Kaiju Kings, which is a popular one now. Um, if I go and I own Kaiju King uh, or Kaiju number 33, um, I just own token 33. And then I can actually go into the smart contract and see um, what kind of data does token 33 have. And if I put in um, uh, on the smart contract, I say, give me the token URI for token 33. It would send me a URL of where my image is hosted. And that URL is going to be kaijukings.com slash image slash 33. And that would show me my we image. So change. all those images would be hosted on a private server um, owned by the, the team. Um, which is controversial because even though your token is decentralized and on Ethereum, all your images um, for that token and metadata, which you could argue is the actual worth of the token, mm -hmm. is on a private server.